Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I'm Pier Giorgio from Deda Next, uh, Italy, and I'm presenting on behalf uh, of my colleague uh, Beatrice. And uh, this presentation is about uh, 15 minute city. Uh, if you are not uh, aware of the 15 minute city concept, it is nothing new, but became uh, quite popular in the last years thanks to this guy, the professor uh, Carlos Moreno, and also uh, thanks to the, the mayor of, uh, of Paris. Basically, a 15-minute city, as a concept, is a residential urban area uh, in which most of the daily needs of, resi of residents can be met uh, by walking or by cycling. So, Beatrice started to ask about uh, how much 15 minutes are our cities, and we started uh, to think of uh, Italian cities. And uh, at the beginning of this year, she proposed to work on a, uh, on a proximity index in order to calculate uh, at the polygon level the uh, value of uh, a sort of 15-minuteness 15, 15 index. And she divided the entire uh, Italy uh, into, hexagonal, uh, into a grid of uh, more than 3 million uh, hexagons. Uh, 250 meters uh, side, and then she assigned a, a value of the index, uh, and the value is corresponding to the average time to reach uh, daily points of interest uh, on foot or by bike, and which data uh, are are the input uh, for for the algorithm? Basically, uh, uh, OpenStreetMap data, in particular, points of interest that are listed here, amenities like. Food, food shops, restaurants, education, schools, uh, banks and public offices, and so on, and road network. Of course, from the road network, uh, she excluded uh, the high-speed uh, roads where pedestrians or bikers uh, are not supposed to, to be. And we started from uh, the Emilia-Romagna regions, uh, from the Emilia-Romagna Emilia region, and then we launched the algorithm at uh, the entire uh, Italian level. This is Turin. And this uh, picture uh, shows uh, the average uh, index, that is the average value considering all categories. But uh, we can, uh, of course, select a specific category, like, uh, for instance, education, in order to better understand uh, the 15-minuteness uh, regarding uh, uh, the, uh, that specific uh, uh, subset of points of interest, or entertainment, like cinemas or theaters. Of course, the algorithm and the index itself is not uh, uh, thought to be a sort of uh, uh, mouth of the truth, that is a marble mask we have in Rome, like, uh, uh, just like uh, other indexes that have been already implemented by others are not, uh, uh, cannot be considered as mouth of truth. To, uh, to, to, to keep, get closer to, uh, to, to uh, to the truth, uh, we should consider other data that are not uh, uh, available in OpenStreetMap or are not uh, fully available in open data portals. And we started uh, to uh, work uh, with the municipality of Ferrara and uh, the GIS department that provided us aggregated data about uh, population uh, distribution uh, based on uh, the aggregation is based on the same uh, hexagonal uh, grid uh, we used for the index, and by comparing uh, the distribution of population with uh, the index, we derived uh, this um, second index, we uh, called it uh, the Scornfort uh, Index, uh, showing uh, the areas where uh, decision makers uh, by both the uh, public sector and private sector are supposed to uh, take decision in order to improve the 15-minuteness, so the quality of life, uh, of their city. That's it. Thank you. I thank you very much. If you have got any questions.